Hello my viewers. This is a response to Darwin 1964's uh, question regarding heat pump defrost boards. And one thing I want you to know is that not all defrost boards are the same. As a matter of fact, some of them don't even have defrost boards, whereas they have just a defrost timer and a defrost relay and things like that. But the one I'm showing you today has a defrost board. It's my own air conditioning system, so please enjoy. Here's my heat pump that I have at my own home. First things first. Let's go ahead and pull the disconnect. I'll turn the system off while I I turn the system off so I can safely troubleshoot it. I remove the cover to the control panel. Let me do some house cleaning first before I do anything. Try and get rid of some of the annoying spiders and things like that that hang out in here. Well, these guys are really hard to get rid of. A little more difficult than usual. Here's the heat pump control board. Now on this board, they're not all the same by the way. These two bottom red wires that are connected to these terminals here is for the defrost thermostat. These two wires that are plugged into these terminals are for the reversing valve. The next two wires from the bottom, these two yellow ones here, are for the low pressure switch. It's generally pretty simple to test them. Just take your put, let's read to see if we have continuity across there. <clears throat> and in this case we do. That means that the pressure switch is closed and that voltage should pass through them no problem. The next two from from here these two are for the high pressure switch and we'll do the same thing as we did with the low pressure switch and we'll go ahead and put our probes on the high pressure switch and as you can see right now it's closed so that simply means that voltage can pass through the high pressure switch. The next two up here is to the compressor contactor. These two simply feed the compressor contactor. Now to test to see if we have continuity all the way from the low pressure switch to the compressor contactor one on one of the low pressure terminals and the other on the contactor terminal and that tells me that voltage should pass across there through all of the safety switches the condensing fan motor plugs into right here these terminals up in here this is your line this is your voltage in and this is your voltage going out to the fan motor right here this relay that's integrated on this defrost board is what turns the condensing fan motor on and off and you can always test to see if you're getting resistance across these two terminals to see to make sure that it's closed when it's supposed to be or open for that matter. Here on this board a Molex plug is connected. These wires go all the way to the air handler. Let me start here with Y. Y is your yellow wire which is for your first stage of cooling. In this case I only have one stage anyway. O 
hole is the reversing valve which energizes in the cooling mode. And here the R is simply the 24 volts of power being fed to this control board. C is the common wire for the 24 volts and W is for a call for heat. You want to be sure that you're getting 24 volts of power to the board. The best thing to do here would be to pull the Molex plug and use your meter to see. Now as you see I'm getting 26 volts right now. And I'll put the Molex plug back into position. There we go. Understanding some of the other components on the board is pretty simple really. This is your compressor relay that's integrated into the board. It sends 24 volts to the compressor contactor. And this other little relay here sends 24 volts to the reversing valve. Hi Dr. Z's fans. My name is Becky and I am the wife of Dr. Z. In case you all didn't know that, which I'm sure most of you have because I've been in some of his videos. And um, right now uh, I have a channel of my own. If you all would like to check me out, my um, uh, link is to the right. My husband has set me up. So if you click the, the link on the right, you'll go to Dearest Becky. That's me. And check me out. Thank you.